In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was in the beginning with God. All things were made through Him. Without Him was not anything made that was made. In Him was life, and the life was the light of men. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness has not overcome it. And the Word became flesh, and dwelt among us, full of grace and truth. We have beheld His glory, glory as of the only begotten Son from the Father. And from His fullness have we all received grace upon grace. Greetings, this is Father Sam Moorhead, Rector of the Cathedral Basilica of the Immaculate Conception, and also with it, Pastor of St. Elizabeth of Hungary on the Auraria campus. It is now the weekend of Easter Sunday, and so a happy, holy, and blessed Easter to you all. As we gather together this weekend to celebrate the greatest event in the world's history and in our own spiritual lives, the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead, you and I rejoice, and so we begin this Rector's Report together, rejoicing in prayer. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Almighty and eternal God, holy and blessed Trinity, you are glorified in the great celebration of the Church throughout the world this weekend. As we gather to celebrate the most solemn and sacred liturgy, and we mystically relive the power of Christ's resurrection, his triumph over death, hell, and sin, we ask that we would receive this good news and let it become triumphant in our own lives. We thank you, Lord, for Jesus' presence with us his life among us, his passion, his sorrowing, his suffering, his dying, and the redemption that's been won, not only by his death, but now by the full power of his resurrection. Let us receive this new life into us by the sacraments of the church and an active life of faith. We pray not only for ourselves here in the heart of Denver, in the center of Colorado, but we pray for our communities, the nation around us, the world around us, that all would come to know, to love, adore, praise you, O God, through Christ your Son, who is our justification and our peace. So, on this Easter Sunday, we come before you rejoicing, O Lord, and we ask that Mary Immaculate, the mother of the risen Lord, pray and intercede for us in our every need, as we say, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Well, as we do gather together this weekend, just a reminder of our Mass schedule. Here at the Cathedral Basilica, we will have the Easter Vigil Mass on a Saturday evening, the 30th, at 8 p.m. Over at St. Elizabeth of Hungary, that Easter Vigil Mass will be at 8.30 p.m. The Easter Vigil Mass is the longest but most beautiful Mass of the entire year. There is the Lucenarium, the blessing of new Easter fire, and a procession into the church. The Exultet is sung, an ancient hymn. We have a long vigil of readings recalling the great works of salvation history. We have the rite of baptism of those who are coming into the church, being baptized, confirmed, or receiving their first Holy Communion and Mass. And then we have, of course, the celebration of the Mass and the liturgy of the Eucharist, as usual. So it's a beautiful celebration the Easter Vigil every year. On Easter Sunday itself here at the Cathedral Basilica, we have Masses at 8.30 a.m., 10.30 a.m., then we'll have Mass in the afternoon at 12.30 p.m. and at 6.30 p.m., which is always our Novus Ordo Latin and English Mass. And so we have that here at the Cathedral Basilica over at St. Elizabeth of Hungary. There is the 9 a.m. Mass on Easter Sunday to help us celebrate the resurrection of the Lord. This is a great time of rejoicing. I invite you to come and come early to the Cathedral Basilica for the Holy Mass on this Easter Sunday. Recall that our parking is much dwindled ever since we lost access to the parking lot where they're now building the 10-story high-rise apartments, and so that means you come early so that you can find good, adequate parking, come and say a prayer in the church, and then prepare for the great celebration of, uh, of Easter. And it will be a beautiful one this year. The church is all decorated, it is beautiful, and we're ready to welcome you as we celebrate this great feast, the resurrection of our Lord. After that, we're going to have the beginning of the Easter season. Our young adult ministry, Corda of the Hearts, regains its normal stride with the first of the month, Swing Dance Nights, and then the third Sunday of the month, the alternating either uh, uh, Pint with a Priest talk, or the uh, then after that, the Pub Trivia with Father Sam Nights. 
So we have all of our core activities back up. Keep in your prayers those who've been through the Credo program. Some people are there just to share faith and are Credo Catholics. Others have actually been using it to prepare for the sacraments to be received this Easter. Keep them in your prayers. At the Easter Vigil, we will have baptized 18 new Catholics receiving their first uh, their confirmation of the First Holy Communion as well. On Easter Sunday at the 10.30 a.m. Mass, we're going to welcome a dozen persons into the full communion of the Church to be confirmed and receive their First Holy Communion. And at Pentecost, we will have the celebration of confirmation for all of the young persons preparing and for all who are catching up on receiving that sacrament. Other than that, we've got some great events of our concert series and other things. Be on the lookout at the flock note and on the bulletin for all of these wonderful things. But now for this Easter Sunday weekend, let me give you my blessing. The Lord be with you, and through the intercession of our Blessed Lady Mary, all the angels and saints, may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. God bless you all, and Happy Easter.